Welcome, and welcome back, everybody, to the OK Grognard Show. Today is Wednesday, November 6, 2024, 10 a.m. Central, in beautiful Lake Geneva, Wisconsin. And today we're going to look at the first edition, Advanced Dungeons & Dragons Dungeon Master's Guide, section on death due to age. What up with that? How do I age into death? I don't know. Or do I? Of course I do. I've got the DMG. But, uh, you know, it doesn't happen often. Unless you're playing a long-term campaign with people that are uh, devoted to uh, playing regular. And unless you roll with the punches when it comes to having downtime between adventuring where people aren't just rushing from one exciting tomb to the next. Hey, the Vince is in the chat. Hey, Vince, how you doing, buddy? The, um, oh, and by the way, I hope everybody had a joyous Marktoberfest. What's up with Marktoberfest? This was a, a glass my buddy Vince gave me. He had it, uh, had it made for the exciting uh, Mark Toberfest 2024 celebration. Thank you very much, my friend. He also uh, threw me a bunch of chocolates and a pretty cool hat. This comes from uh, Horrid Realm. They got some cool stuff. You should go check them out if you get a chance because uh, they got some pretty nifty stuff over at Horrid Realm. Thanks for all the... The presentos, my friend, it's very much appreciated. But what are we talking about? Right after my birthday, which is the beginning of Marktoberfest, we're talking about death due to age. It seems a little morbid, but we're going to talk about it anyway. And I do want to emphasize that there's a whole section on it. It comes after character age and after disease and any number of other aging disease and death is the final chapter of course what does it say well it says the character faces death in many forms the most common death due to combat is no great matter in most cases for the character can often be brought back by means of a clerical spell or an alter reality or a wish of course, recovery of damage sustained might be a problem, but that is not insurmountable. Death due to, due to age, Gary continues. This is a serious matter, for unless the lifespan can otherwise be prolonged, the character brought back from such death faces the prospect of soon dying again. Beyond the maximum age determined for the character in question, no form of magic which does not prolong lifespan will work. Thus, some characters may become liches. Of course, multiple potions of longevity, wishes, and possibly magical devices will allow greatly extended lifespan, but once a character dies due to old, venerable age, then it's all over. If you make this clear, many participants will see the continuity of the family line as a way to achieve a sort of mortality. Immortality. <laughs> In any event, he's just saying, you know, that's how that goes. There's a couple more sections, and it goes into the weeds a bit on the determination of maximum age. And this is an extension of the age charts at the beginning of this chapter which I won't get into too extensively. It's worth pointing out that they exist and includes an example of maximum age determination, which has a great deal of math involved. It may never come up in your game or campaign unless you are running a setting for a very long time and having a lot of downtime and non-adventuring time that allows somebody to reap to reach a venerable age and uh, then to uh, to die, <laughs> which doesn't happen a lot. So let me just say, in regard to this section, 
more power to you if you ever, if you ever get this done this way. I've had characters that reached fairly high level in certain campaigns and retired, but the idea was they were just putting themselves out to pasture and continuing to live. They weren't just dying, so not the same thing, obviously. You can always unretire a character, just ask any number of uh NFL QBs, and you will find that it happens more often than you can imagine. The uh, the thing I would want to say about this is that you should definitely keep open the possibility. I would not... I mean, depending on how extensive a note keeper you are, you can determine someone's Max age. Now, don't forget, I hear you cry. What about disease? That becomes your max age then if you die of a disease. No, no. That's a separate thing. Disease, combat, any other way that you could get killed doesn't enter into what your maximum age, what your shelf life is. That gets determined by the rolling of some dice, and you could keep track of every character that ever goes into your setting. Make a little section in your notebook for them. Mark down what their maximum age is. Make sure nobody peeks and finds out when they're going to die. But uh, I don't suggest you do that. If you get characters that get to a point where they're getting close, maybe you want to roll it up then. Maybe you want to roll that up. And don't forget, it's different for dwarves than it is for humans, than it is for elves, than it is for halflings. So, you know, you got to keep track of a lot of different factors when it comes to uh, adventuring groups and max age. You know, you may have dwarves, dwarf characters or elf character players saying, yeah, we're going to take the next hundred years off. And the human character players saying, um... You're just about, you're killing me here. <laughs> so don't forget, there are things like that to factor in. But if you get somebody who is approaching that, then I suggest you roll it up and you figure out what it could be and go from there. Otherwise, I wouldn't uh, spend too much time on it other than to read the section, know that it exists, understand the example, and uh, have fun with it if it ever comes up in your game because it's... It's going to be a rarity, for sure. In any event, there you go. That is uh, what we're talking about for this week. Uh, I guess we're close to closing it down, so we might as well. Hey, Vince, for, thanks for joining us today. There in the uh, chat room. Uh, this has uh, been the OK Grognard Show, talking about the first edition Advanced Dungeons & Dragons Dungeon Master Guide section on Death Due to Age show streams live on Twitch each Wednesday, 10 a.m. Central, and then it's archived on YouTube. Hey, just to give you a heads up in advance, the 18th of December will be the last show of the year. We'll take the winter hiatus and return, I think, the 15th of January, four weeks later. Keep that in mind if you're making long-term plans for the show. But check us out on Twitch each Wednesday, 10 a.m. Central. And uh, check us out on YouTube. You don't get to watch it live, and it's very much appreciated. Thanks to our Patreon supporters. Tom Tullis of Fat Dragon Games, Carlos Slicing of Castle Entertainment, Heath Varnden of the Anybody and D20, Dave O'Brien, Heidi and Eric Gygax Garland of Gaxland, Vince Ragusa, a.k.a. the Vince himself, unauthorized user, and as always, Shane Bradley, DM Extraordinaire. This has been the OK Grognard Show from beautiful Lake Geneva, Wisconsin. Bye-bye.